Hello, my love bugs. Oh my gosh, it looks so dark in here, you guys. It looks so dark. It's because, here, let me see if I open up the windows and it will change, but I think it's just like, it's really cloudy out, so maybe that's why. I think that might be like a tad bit better. Anyways, hello, my love bugs. It is Friday, so it is weight loss check in day. So, where we left off was actually two weeks ago where I told you guys that I was going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus from this whole weight loss thing because I felt that my body dysmorphia was like really freaking out, really freaking out. And typically in those moments, I would go straight to trying to lose more weight and over restrict and just kind of turn towards weight loss as a way to relieve how I'm feeling about myself, but I got sick. <laughs> I got really sick the next week. And so it, it made me have to kind of like sit in it because I couldn't do anything. You guys, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't work out. I could barely move. I was drinking nothing but chicken broth. Like it just, I just had to sit with it. So anyways, I think that was like the best thing to happen though because I am feeling like I'm in such a good space when it comes to my body image right now and I'm really grateful and so actually we are going to go ahead and switch up these Friday weight loss videos. I come on here every single Friday and basically nitpick myself down to pieces theoretically um, and I am kind of tired of putting myself through that um, and I'm tired of just not liking myself and nitpicking myself all the time and, and whatnot. And so I have decided that I am going to establish non-aesthetic goals with my trainer. I haven't set them out yet. We do have a meeting on, not Monday because it's going to be Christmas, but Wednesday to kind of discuss that and go over that. And then so that way next Friday, I'll be able to tell you guys what those goals are. But the reason for that is I, so I was going through old photos last night. It was always happens this way. And I saw this one photo and I thought I looked horrible in that photo. I'll never forget. I started crying afterwards because I was like, oh my God, I let myself go. I look so bad. Like I can't believe I did this to myself. And I'm looking at that photo and I'm like, girl, you look incredible. Like, why did you cry afterwards? I refused to post it. Like, and it wasn't, it was from earlier this year and I was actually less weight than I am right now. Not by much. I've only like, it's not like that 10, five, actually, again, I'm still happy with the weight that I did lose. I put on a little bit of too much weight when I hurt my foot. Um, but right now, maybe only like five to eight pounds heavier right now than I was there. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but I am tired of doing that to myself where I look back at old photos of me and I'm just like, why did you hate yourself so much? Like you look fire in this and I, I'm just over it. Um, and I've noticed that a trigger to this is swimsuits. Uh, which I know it's laughable because I'm wearing one, but that's the reason why. So I have noticed that because that photo, I was in a swimsuit and it kind of sent me into something and whatnot. Um, I have a really, my first video to ever go viral on TikTok that started me posting was me showing myself in a bikini for the first time in years, in years. And I have always disliked going to the beach, swimsuits and whatever. I'm from California. And when you go to the beach, the stereotypical tall, blonde, tan, beautiful surfer girls are here. They're everywhere. They are, there's more than there is not. And I have always held myself to a standard that I needed to look like that in order to feel worthy enough to wear a swimsuit. And I'm not doing that anymore. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just want to live my life and I want to be happy. And I want to celebrate my body. I want to stay healthy. Like I said, I do think that there is a balance between, um, I'm not going to use any big like labels because I don't want to make anybody 
angry. Um, but I do think that there's a, a mix between having a, a good healthy lifestyle and having really good body positivity image and like accepting the way that you look but while still being healthy when i was a little bit heavier before i started losing that weight that that like seven to ten pounds i i was not very healthy that weight was gained out of sadness and stress and depression and so like that i'm happy to lose but at this point i feel like i am nitpicking myself to lose some more weight and i don't know if weight loss will be a symptom of me wanting to go and chase other goals inside of the gym outside of aesthetic it may be but i'm no longer tracking it i am not tracking it i'm not going to weigh myself every single week i'm not going to do measurements i'm not going to do any of that but what i will be doing is i will be sharing my non-weight related goals with you guys and whether i exceed them but i will also be wearing a different bikini every single week so I can get past this stupid trigger that I have with with bathing suits. I've just noticed that like, like I even like, oh, so what started me looking through all those photos, I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling, was I saw I was doing the transformation TikTok or whatever, um, and, uh, photos of me throughout the year. And I saw one of me in a bikini recently and it made me cry. It made me cry. It made me cry. I ended up posting it. It was that orange bikini where I was in the mirror, whatever, that mirror selfie, if you guys saw it, it's up. But I started crying because I was like, oh, I love myself, go, da, 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 whatever, all over again, nitpicking myself. And then I started looking back and I saw that photo and I remember I felt the same way when I took that photo, but now I'm looking back as future Kate and I'm going, what are you talking about? You look great. So I have a weird thing with swimsuits. I know where it comes from, also my mom, shocker really mean to me growing up um she had always made me wear uh t-shirts and shorts because she said that i was too big to wear like a regular swimsuit um not that it was inappropriate no 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 i was just too big um and i definitely wasn't <laughs> she was just rude um and so i want to come on here every single week and i want to wear a new bikini and i want to new wear a new swimsuit and i want to feel good and i want to say nice things to myself and i will always be honest with you guys when i'm having a bad body image day and i will always tell you guys if i feel like a soggy potato because it's real and it's honest but i'm going to force myself to say positive things and this bikini in one moment i tried it on and i absolutely hated it and then the next I tried on and I loved it and da 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 back and forth. So that's why I chose this bikini because I've had this like fluctuating relationship with it. But I put it on today and I'm like, girl, you look banging. You look amazing. The hips are hipping. The booty is booty. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at Manhattan. Look at Manhattan. She's out for show tonight. She is out for show. She is hosting the community. She is doing charity work. She is, look at that. Look at all the weight that she is carrying. She looks plumped. She looks bootylicious. She looks amazing. I can't do all, all the way to make you guys. I'm gonna get in trouble. The thighs are thighing. Look at that again. Look at that. I, I do think this booty cheek is smaller than this booty cheek. Look at you guys. That, I do think it's happening. Look at that cellulite. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful cellulite. It's a beautiful cellulite. Mwah, scrumptively umptious. These hip dips, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with them. And then lastly, the chubs. The chubs. We're going to show some love to the chubs. Because the chubs is what gets the... I have to say, my legs are probably what I'm most self-conscious about on my body. My legs and my badonky donk. Which is why I make jokes and I call it Manhattan. Um, so anyways, I'll always come for my chubs, my cellulite, and my Manhattan. And you know what? Today she's looking scrumptively up just because it's natural. And it's normal. And it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's natural. It's normal. And I still look beautiful. The girls are girling. Like, I am feeling really confident today. I'm feeling really pretty. And I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to feel confident. And I'm not going to torture myself by putting myself on a scale and measuring how my day is going to go by whether or not I lost weight. So, anyways, I know it's a little bit of a switch up from the weight loss videos. And for those who enjoyed my weight loss, like little series when I would talk about it, I'm sorry. Um, I am very passionate about weight loss, so I'll always answer questions and things like that. I did lose um, at one point 100 pounds, as give or take, 
Um, I do think that it's very important and there's healthy ways to do it and things like that. But for me right now in this season, it's just not what I need. I need to love myself. I need to focus on my body image and I need to focus on just loving myself and not constantly nitpicking and not constantly trying to change myself. Just, I want to accept myself. I want to feel pretty. Like I did, I woke up, I put this on, I was like, mama, mama, <laughs> mommy, like what? <laughs> Who put that body on you and i want to i want to enjoy that i want to enjoy that instead of just torturing myself because i didn't lose an inch or i didn't lose a pound or because i gained a pound like i'm done i'm done so anyways that's what these weight loss series are going to be now i'm going to try on a new bikini every single week i'm going to force myself to feel confident i'm going to force myself to say something nice about myself and i will be still sharing my goals inside the gym that's not leaving it's just going to change from aesthetic and numbers to other things, which I'm really excited to share with you guys because fitness is so much more than just aesthetics. Um, I've said it so many times. It quite literally saved my life. I love fitness. I love moving your body. And there's so many great aspects of it. And I'm tired of letting the new, the aesthetic and the, the, new, the number part of it ruin all the other fantastic aspects that fitness brings into your life so anyways that is what the videos are gonna be i guess i could do one like little twirl like the before and after so let me make sure that like the back is fully covered though this is what i look like i think she's looking like a snack i think she looks cute cellulite and all little tummy everything i think she looks great anyways i think you guys look great i think you guys are perfect and I can't wait to see you guys later. I think I am gonna upload one more video this week, but um, yeah, I think I will. But if not, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope it's amazing, I hope it's wonderful, and please don't forget that you guys are absolutely perfect. Okay, bye-bye.